We're going to talk about um, some amplifiers now. So we're going to start with our non-inverting amplifier. We need to be able to draw one. Okay, so so let's draw one that has a gain of three. So there we have one drawn for us. So non-inverting in the input signal goes into the non-inverting terminal, um, and our feedback then goes to go to the inverting terminal. And at what proportion of, of feedback have we got? Um, that's dependent on the ratio of R1 and R2. Provided the operational amplifier is not saturated, then negative feedback keeps these two terminals better than the same voltage. So gain for it, and we can work out what the resistor value is. So if we let um, RF equal 2K, therefore R1 equals uh, 1K. Okay, so let's draw a characteristic graph for this. Uh, one other thing we need to know is what um, the operate, uh, op amp is going to saturate at. So let's keep it nice and simple. The op amp saturates at plus or minus 9 volts. So therefore, we can use the equation, um, standard voltage equation, gain is equal to V out divided by V in to give us the maximum input voltage we can have before it saturates. So our maximum input voltage, if we're going to have 3 volts and our maximum output is plus or minus 9 volts, therefore we can work out what V in is going to be. So our maximum V in in this case is going to be 9 divided by 3, which is also going to be 3 volts. So that we can now draw our graph. So when we have 1 volt in, we're going to get 3 volts out, 2 volts in, 6 volts out, and so on and so forth. So we end up with a line with a positive positive coefficient. And what happens at that point, because it's going to saturate, then we're going to get, no matter how much more we put in, we get, what we're going to get out, and we can then do the same. Uh, We put negative voltage in so we end up with a characteristic graph that looks like that so if we were to put a wiggly signal into our, into our amplifier so this is our input signal um, then what's going to happen to our output so one volt one volt we're going to get on our output well then hopefully we should get something that's uh, three times as big so we end up with something like that now if we put, if we put in uh, something greater than um, our maximum of three volts on our input, then we would have then our output would have had the tops clipped off and we would have then distorted waveform. So if we now look at a non inverting amplifier, if we now look at an inverting amplifier, so we need to draw one and we'll do exactly the same things as we've just done before for our non -inverting. Okay, so there we've drawn one. Um, RF and RN, so feedback this time, we've got our input going into the fire RN, into the inverting terminal. And again, the same thing applies with negative feedback. Um, voltage at the non-inverting terminal equals the voltage on the inverting terminal. Sorry, and as this, as this one is connected to zero volts, and this point here is called a virtual earth. Okay, so what gain should we have? Shall we gain a 5 this time? Something different? So, um, so I should have said minus 5 because it's an inverting amplifier. Uh, there's our equation for it. So nice and easy. Um, as all resistors have to be greater than 1K. So, so let Rn equal 1K. So our Rf equals 5K. Okay, we'll draw a characteristic graph for that. So in drawing our graph, we'll say that our op-amp saturates with plus or minus 12 volts, so we can calculate the uh, maximum V in again uh, using our V out divided by our gain, so our standard gain formula. So we said we've got 12 volts and our gain is 5, so it gives us uh, 2.4 volts. So then in drawing our graph, if we put our uh, Minus one volt in, gain a five, we're going to get five volts out. 
uh, 2 volts in minus 10 volts and then we've got our saturation point at 2.4 volts uh, we're going to saturate then at our 12 volts so, 12 volts so we draw the rest of the, so drawing the rest of the graph we end up like that so we've got a negative gradient this time so if that was our input signal then what we're going to see on our output you have to obviously excuse the scales we'll see something that's 180 degrees and a phase our inputs so and that going one times five so it's going up to five volts so that's our output Okay, that's your rats and bats, does it?